don't go see Joseph Goebbels' films to see the truth about Nazi Germany. You don't want to go see Al Gore's film to see the truth about global warming. Global warming. Well, I rudely put it in the myth chapter with psychics and astrology. It is some of the coldest air in this part of the country in 20 years. Proof that all of this hype over global warming could be just that hype. Today's headlines about global warming prove the news axiom, if it bleeds, it leads. The warming is due to the sun. Thermonuclear war might threaten the survival of our civilization, but warming up the planet, I think not. No doubt that it's man-made. It's a hoax. A total hoax. It's an outrageous lie. You're a meteorologist. What do you, you think scientists really agree on? There is no agreement that the warming we've seen is due to man. It is more fiction than fact. Just to rush to judgment and assume that it's human emissions of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases is really foolish. CO2 is not a pollutant. The hysteria, we're all going to drown. This is the alarmist scientists who always get the most play on the media. The thing about Al Gore is I've always thought of him as such an inauthentic man. Planet fever or PR fever. Al Gore is wrong in his science. Now I want to point out something. He's got the Bella Lugosi haircut. Al Gore is unhinged. If we are to connect with our audiences on this issue, we learned that we must first get our own house in order. The companies themselves have realized that there is some way to make some bucks by getting on board of some sort of climate change program. Acting on this issue is simply good business. Alarmist messages about global warming are counterproductive. But I'm Jonathan, more worried about Ahmad with I... a nuclear weapon than a stupid glacier melting. Outrage over Dems who want to fight global warming at the expense of fighting terrorism.